for allowing us to be able to get something for our father. Um, actually, my father not only was he an engineer, he was a personal engineer for the Temptations. And I come to find out that he's the one who invented the tree that goes and spins out to the to Temptations to sing. I didn't know that myself until I was finding out the history while we were getting, preparing for this award. So we are so honored in our family, and uh, we will continually let the legacy pass on through our family, because my father was more in Motown than he was at home. So <laughs> uh, he's always one to talk to you to sing. So we are honored, and we thank Mr. Robinson once again, and we thank you guys for, any, you know, for being here as well tonight. Thank you so much, Shelly Kay and Justin. She's doing big things with WJCC in his back. Detroit has all kinds of things happening in the city. Now we have uh, Stephanie Hammond here. I want to bring up this young, dynamic attorney who is going to uh, say a few words about our next honoree. His name is John Glover, y'all. One of the most powerful, legendary songwriters in the history of our world. Sometimes you see the temptations or you see all the stars performing. But without no songwriter, you ain't got no song. And the longevity and the impact this man has had from Stevie Wonder as a young boy throughout the 70s and 80s, acts and musicians across the world. And I want to introduce Attorney Stephanie Hammond, who will say some additional comments about this living legend. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I have been representing um, entertainers and creative people as an attorney in courtrooms and contract negotiations for over almost 30 years now, 29 years. given the chance to say some words about Mr. Glover, I said I would step to the forefront and proudly tell people about his history, and it's a glorious history. Um, I just met Mr. Glover, and we recently became attorney and client um, at, in the fall of 2019, but I feel like I've known him almost a lifetime because of his musical history. Let me tell you a little bit about him. Mr. Glover could be considered a child prodigy. He's been writing and creating music um, since he was a little boy and is a childhood friend and collaborator with Stevie Wonder, a relationship that continues to this day. Um, he and Stevie Wonder went to Motown as a group and while Stevie Wonder, as we know, has gone on to do great things as a songwriter, a musician, and as a humanitarian, Mr. Glover is not far behind. When you talk about a legacy of a creative person, Mr. Glover has written over 400 songs. Over 400 songs. That's right, I said it, I'm going to say it again so you can hear it. And these are not just songs that he has written away in a, in a notebook or hidden in a drawer. These are songs that have been recorded, recorded by some of the famous artists and acts that we've heard of today. I brought my phone because I'm... I got your back. Okay. Some of the great people that he's written for um, include Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, Jimmy Ruffin, um, Diana Ross and the Supremes, the Four Tops, but by far the crown jewel in his song catalog is a song that has become a trademark for a husband and wife team. For those of us who grew up or were alive in the 70s, you might remember the group The Fifth Dimension. Yeah. They, they had a great number of hits. And there was a husband and a wife team by the name of Marilyn McCool and Billy Davis Jr. Yeah. Well, that husband and wife team decided they wanted to go off on their own, and they had to make a strong impact with their first recording. Mr. Glover was responsible for making their first hit, the, the hit, their best hit, their most well-known hit, You Don't Have to Be a Star to Be in My Show. That is from Mr. Glover, a Detroiter, a native Detroiter. I could talk about him forever, and, and the credits would be rolling, the lights would be dead. 
them. But I just want to say I'm so proud and happy to say today we have a legend among us. I'm so proud to bring him to the stage, Mr. John Howard Cohn Jr. Come on. Give up for Mr. Glover. Give it up for Attorney Hammond. I see Mr. Glover has the wrong. But I want to just uh, rip off this one paragraph here. Off comparing with another Detroit writer named James Dean Glover pin songs for the Supremes. I got her trying to be the only girl in your life. The four tops. Walk with me, talk with me, darling. Tavares, that's the sound that love only makes. Johnny Bristol and Johnny Mathis. Memories don't leave like people do. And his biggest success is Marilyn McCool Billy Davis Jr., once of the fifth mention, who made You Don't Have to Be a Star. You already said that, but it ain't hurting me to say it twice. <laughs> number one hit, 1976. You can't go high, number one. <laughs> Bang. So anybody want to write some songs, you better get your, get this number. <laughs> but it goes on and on. So, Mr. Glover, I have an honor to present to you, on behalf of the 100th Legislature in Lansing, the great seal of the state of Michigan, the highest honor we can bestow upon a citizen. This is the great seal of the state of Michigan, and we have on here pen John Glover, legendary songwriter and music icon. Director 
1315. In Detroit, they've been putting it down because of their fight for workers at places like McDonald's. Standards of living have been raised across this country. And our director, A.J. Thomas.
be elimination. There we go. Come on, Ryan. Where did you get that uh, outfit from? <laughs> you told me you were coming with us today. I'm about to read these names. I want them to come up and get their tributes. I'm going to read the resolution one time. And this first one, Mr. Mr. Trellis, come on over here. Trellis Mercer. Come on up here with me. Mr. Mercer is the one that worked with me to set this up today. State of Michigan, special tribute to Trellis Mercer. Outstanding leadership. Let it be known today we recognize Trellis Mercer, leader in the fight for 15, an American political movement advocating for the federal minimum wage to be raised to $15. The fight for 15 movement started in 2012 in response to workers' inability to cover their costs on low salaries, as well as the stressful work conditions in many service jobs in Detroit and across the nation. Standing with labor, faith, and civic leaders across the nation, including Dr. Martin Luther King III, Service Employees International Union President Mary Kay Henry, former state rep, representing Rosemary C. Robinson, that's my mom. The name of Trellis Mercer will be etched in the history of the American labor movement as a courageous and principal champion for workers' rights and workplace dignity. Because of the dedication of D-15 advocate Trellis Mercer and community allies across the United States of America, the movement has seen successes on the state and local level. Therefore, being resolved, we honor Trellis Mercer for outstanding service and leadership to the working families of Detroit and the state of Michigan, signed Isaac Robinson, state rep, 4th District, 100th Legislature, at Lansing, Sunday, February 23rd, 2020. Congratulations. When <laughs> uh, people get their award, just find a space on stage and start to break it off. <laughs> and we're going to take individual pictures outside, everybody. But that's my photographer. Keep working, just in the camera shot. <laughs> Pam Reed. <laughs> now, she was a real fighter on a lot of things. Where you at, Pam Reed? Now, if you want to read, you better start being ready to come on up here. Yeah. All right, jump up, Pam. All right. All right, quick pose. Pam, pose. Mark shot. There you go. Thank you so much. I'll let you just go, 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 go somewhere close by. <laughs> uh, AJ Thomas, here you go. I'm going to take a picture of you outside. Yeah. Another one for AJ Thomas, because she got a whole bunch of different names. Hey, Real name Ashley, hope I ain't in trouble. <laughs> now, Lori, come on up here for a second. Oh, yeah. This is a special in memoriam tri tribute to Avril Taylor, who was brutally murdered. Yeah. Oh, but her legacy lives on, and we remember her today. So let's make a big round of applause for our sister Avril Taylor.
and give it up for Al Murray. Turn around, take a picture here. We're going to fall in turn. Are you trying to make it come to you? All right, all right, she got to get her, her wardrobe together. You're looking good. I signed her up for Prince Delegate. What a good movie. Uh -huh. I don't do that no more. Brother Tyrone Allen. Tyrone. Is he here? Brother Chris Gray. Is Chris Gary here? Okay, he does a lot for D15. We appreciate him. D'Angelo Price. Alright, give it up for the minister. 